Okay, now I'm going to cut a piece of metal to make the strap for the gamma tube. This happens to be a 30,000th thick aluminum sheet. And the strap is going to be a half inch wide, so I'm just going to cut it with a pair of uh, tin snips. So I'm going to mark a half inch wide here and draw a line. Then I'm going to cut it with a pair of tin snips, cut it off. Okay, you'll notice that it curves when you cut it, so you're going to have to flatten it out. And it kind of has a sharp edge on it, so you have to be careful. And what I'd like to do is I'll end up filing this, but before I do that, it's fairly flat now. I'll take a little hammer and just tap the edge of it because there's a little sharp edge that sticks up. And what I want to do is just knock that down. And when you do that, it, it tends to turn or bow it a little bit. You can do it on the other side and bow it back the other direction. And then I'll go ahead and file the edge a little bit just to make it so it's not quite so sharp. a little safer to handle. Okay, the next thing we'll have to do is uh, shape it into the right shape. Okay, the next step here is to roll this strap around here so I can make a clamp with it. So I want it to overhang by maybe half an inch or so. So I'm just going to roll this around here and it's going to have to be, the strap's going to have to be about two inches long. So I've got it rolled around kind of like that now. And what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to put it in a vise and I'm going to put this piece of metal in here and clamp it so it's going to make a circle but again not all the way, kind of like the other clamp. So you'll see here in a second. I'm going to try to clamp it just at the bottom edge or just above the bottom edge of the rod. And it's going to kind of squeeze it into shape. As you can hear, I've got some uh, neighbors walking by here, and it, this is the 4th of July, so if you hear some fire, fireworks going off, you'll know why. Okay, the distance now that this needs to be to the other one, overall, is about 2 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and measure here 2 inches and make a mark so I can kind of eyeball. What's going to happen here? So I'm going to roll it over again.
That's pretty close. Okay, now I've gotten to this kind of a shape, so I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze it like the other one. Just using this quarter inch rod as a form. It's got to straight, stay straight or perpendicular to the vise here. adjusted just right. I might have cut that a little short. I still think it'll work. What I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to drill a hole in both of these and put a, uh, a screw here. I may make another one and make this a little bit longer. Okay, I went ahead and made another one that's a, a little more evenly spaced. I don't know if you can see it, but I put a couple dots on here where I'm going to drill holes for screws to go through to act as a clamp. And I'm going to put a piece of this eighth inch metal in here so when I drill through it, it won't squeeze it flat. So the next thing I'll do is go ahead and center punch it like I've done everything else where I'm going to drill. And I'm going to use 632 screws, so I've chosen a drill that's a little bit larger than that, so I'll move over to the small drill press next and drill the holes out. Okay, let's check out this drill. This is about, oh, about 150 thousandths drill size. all the way through. Do the other side. Okay, now we have something that can be used as a clamp.